Hi, I'm student Dr. Wolf, and I'm going to be evaluating you here today. Hi, I'm Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Um, how old are you? 24. Okay, and what brings you in today? Uh, I'm having some pain and swelling in my right big toe. Okay. Did any event trigger this or any trauma that you recall? Um, no, I just woke up last night at about like 3 a.m. and then I've had like constant pain since then. Okay, so right big toe, um, constant pain. So not off and on constant since about 3 a.m. last night you said? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, would you describe that pain as sharp, dull, burning, tingling? Uh, probably sharp and burning. Okay, um, have you noticed anything that makes it hurt a little worse? Uh, when I put my socks and shoes on, that kind of irritates it. Okay, what about anything that helps relieve the pain? Uh, I used an ice pack for about 15 minutes this morning, and that seemed to help a little bit. Okay, um, and then does the pain kind of travel up the foot and leg, or does it stay localized in the big toe? Uh, it mostly stays in the big toe. Okay, and it began about 3 a.m. last night, which is about 8 hours ago. Okay. Um, how would you rate that from zero to 10? Zero being no pain, 10 being the worst pain, like childbirth. Uh, about a six. Okay. Um, any recent hospitalizations or recent surgeries? No. Okay. How about any adult or childhood illnesses such as um, diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure? Uh, I have high blood pressure. Okay. Um, does that run in your family? Yeah. Okay. And are, are both parents still alive? Are you treating that high blood pressure? Yes, I'm taking Lasix. Okay, and how, do you have to know the dose? Uh, about 40 milligrams twice a day. Okay. Are you up to date on all immunizations? Yeah. Okay, any allergies? No. Transfusions? No. All right, you don't seem too anxious today, so that's good. Um, are you sexually active, Jordan? Yeah, I'm married. Okay, so monogamous. Mm -hmm. um, how would you describe your sleep? Uh, pretty good. Okay. Um, do you use tobacco or smoke? No. Okay. How about work? What's your occupation? Uh, I work at a jewelry store, so I'm on my feet quite a bit. Okay. What about exercise? Do you get a, you get a chance? Uh, about two or three times a week. Okay. Um, you said and no other illicit drug use? No. Okay. And how would you describe your diet? Uh, pretty, pretty healthy, pretty good. Okay. Um, do you drink regularly, socially? Uh, mostly just socially, but I drink quite a bit more than I normally do this past weekend because uh, I went to a bachelorette party. Okay, so you drank quite a bit this weekend. So what was your diet like this weekend? Uh, I mostly had like seafood type food. Okay. Um, no pets? At home? No. Okay, and you're married. Did you Have you traveled recently within or outside of the U.S.? No. Okay. All right, Jordan, I'm going to do a quick physical exam. If you could put your feet up here. I'm just going to um, do a vascular exam first, just check some pulses here. So I'm going to check the dorsalis pedis pulse. Present, two out of four. Posterior tibial pulse. Present, two out of four. I'm going to check your popliteal. Present, two out of four. Dorsalis pedis. Present, two out of four. Posterior tip, present, two out of four. Let's check popliteal. Present, two out of four. Okay. Skin turgor, elasticity, good, it's elastic, well hydrated. Okay, skin temp. Warm to warm bilaterally, that's good. You do have a little elevated temp over the first metatarsophalangeal joint, which is to be expected since that's a little inflamed and swollen, it looks like. Um, I do notice bilateral hair growth, so that's good. Capillary filling time, I'm gonna check real quick on each toe. That's good. Good, all under three seconds, that's good. All right, next I'm gonna do a dermatological exam. Um, so I don't see any obvious open 
um, wounds, lesions, ulcerations on the anterior leg, dorsum of the foot, plantar aspect of the foot looks good, posterior leg looks good, um, anterior aspect of the leg, dorsum of the foot looks good here, plantar aspect of the foot looks good, posterior leg, good, um, interdigital spaces look good, no macerations, toenail, toenails look healthy, looks good, um, I do note a little bit of erythema or redness and some edema or swelling um, on this big toe. Um, everything else looks fine. Uh, all right, I'm going to do a quick musculoskeletal exam. Um, I'm going to test your muscle strength, so if you could push against my hands. Good. 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 All right, range of motion in the subtalar joint, good. Subtalar joint range of motion, good bilaterally. I'm gonna check the first ray range of motion here. Might hurt this a little bit. All right, that's good. I'm sure it probably hurts a little bit to get to the full range of motion though. First ray range of motion, good. I'm gonna check ankle joint range of motion. Okay. A little limited ankle joint dorsiflexion here just means you're not quite getting to 10 degrees past um, 90. Same on this side. So I'm gonna do a silver squid test if you can lay back. Okay, knee flexed, let me try. All right, good, we're getting to 10 degrees here. And good, we have increased ankle joint dorsiflexion bilaterally, so that tells me that you have a gastrocnemius equinus. Uh, just means like the gastrocnemius muscle back here is a little tight. Um, I don't see any presence of masses or tumors and no orthopedic abnormality, so that's good. I'm gonna quickly do a, neuro a neurological exam. So I'm gonna use the Sims Weinstein monofilament and just tell me if you can fill this, all right? Close your eyes for me, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Now I'm just going to do a sharp and dull exam. Um, just tell me if this feels sharp or dull, if you can close your eyes as well. Sure. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Good. All right. Um, if you could tell me. Um, which, close your eyes, tell me which toe I'm touching, and then tell me if it's going towards me or towards you. Big toe. Me. You. Me. You. Good. Um, all right, I'm going to do a vibration test real quick. Just tell me when you feel the vibration and then when you notice that it stops, all right? Quickly check your um, patellar and Achilles reflexes. If you could sit up here for me. Thank you. Good. Nice. Good. Checking the Achilles. Good. See some contraction here. Good. 
All right, and then yeah, if you could sit back up here and put your legs out. I'm gonna do the Babinski test. motor neuron disease there. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so Jordan, after completing the, uh, the physical exam, um, my primary diagnosis right now would be that you're having an acute gout attack. And basically, um, just based on your social history from, you said you drank a little bit in excess this weekend, had some alcohol, you had some seafood, you're also on Lasix, which is a diuretic. All three of those factors can increase your risk for gout. And all gout is, is just an arthritic condition that results in the accumulation of uric acid crystals that are built up in this joint here, in your first metatarsophalangeal joint. And you present with a tender, hot, swollen joint. Um, there's no other abnormalities. Um, so at this point, I'd like to just rule out septic arthritis or pseudo gout. So I'm gonna aspirate um, some of your joint fluid. We'll send that to the lab. And then based on the results of um, the lab results, we'll move forward on whether it, it is confirmed that we do have gout. If that's the case, I can give you a corticosteroid injection, or I can also give you a colchicine tablets, and that will basically help reduce the buildup of uric acid in the joint. Um, I'm also going to order some plain film x-rays, and that will also help me tell if it's gout. So do you have any other questions for me today? No. Okay. And we'll just follow up after I get the lab results back. Okay.